Hello and welcome back to this puzzle. Today we are going to analyze Euro USD. As beginning, we are going to check out what we have in the economic calendar, and after that, we'll go on to check the technical analysis. So here on this page, that is a well-known uh, forex page and also news provider, very big one. We are going to look at what we have today. So in uh, 11 minutes, we are going to have the Bank of England minutes, Bank of uh, England monetary policy report. It is expected that they will increase the interest rate. So uh, this will impact the market and it will be a very volatile day today. So it is better not to trade this at all. Just wait after uh, the market has to come down and you can trade after that. Uh, on the economic calendar, we don't see anything interesting for today. Everything is with uh, yellow and orange. So nothing interesting. But for tomorrow, what we can see is that at the market open, at morning, sorry, not at market open, we have uh, the Bank of Australia is going to share the monetary policy statement. And later on the day, we are going to have the US non-farm payroll. So as you all know, this is going to be a very interesting and volatile day. Most of the time it is not advised at all to, to trade during this kind of events because they are going to share the employment data and it will be very risky and volatile. We can say that the market will move up or down very risky and the unemployment rate at the same time also canada is going to share the same data net employment change in employment unemployment rate that is very important as well and what is really significant in both reports is the average hourly earning wages most of the time this determines the next movement of the market because they are related also with the expenses that uh, the people may do during the month so let's see what we can expect it is expected on the from the canadian border is expected to have an increase in the employment change also the unemployment rate is increased in many countries so they are expecting a five percent increase is something that we have also to uh, deal with this uh, topic the unemployment rate in the usa is expected to be 3.6 but that has to be seen so let's go and let's check out what the charts is uh, showing to us right now after checking all of this as we saw during the previous analysis euro usd broke out a little bit 1.0 price level on the left side of the structure we had the support that was coming from a very old period of time it is very interesting that this area was seen for the last time in july 20 so 22 so 2002 sorry so this is the beginning of the euro area here I don't think that the price will move down uh, below that 1.0 however we need to look at and to have an open mind because we are not market makers let's go on with the previous part that we have seen already what the market is doing is that on the daily chart we can see these waves that the market is going up and down so we have the impulsive waves coming down and the corrective waves moving up all the time look at the corrective areas that we actually have here so what we can anticipate and what we can expect during this period of time i'm making it in this way these are the corrective areas that we already have here and all of this is part of correction both of this movement and on the other hand we have the impulsive movement that are moving down all the time here we have the other ones 
and here we have the big the small movement and another bullish bearish movement sorry so what we can expect right now is that if we are going to connect the top of the wave that is coming down we are going to see that the price is channeling from a long period of time so we can see that price already found support close to these points and it found the same support also on the lower part of the structure on the upper part we have resistance so it is looking very interesting how this pattern is developing I'm expecting the next resistance to be close to the line but what we have on the 4 hour chart is very interesting right now this is going to be crucial in this trading and here we have this beautiful pattern we can see that price is moving within a range in this area this is getting very interesting because every time that price is testing the upper part of the structure as we can see we saw the first pullback retest of the resistance price moved down it moved up we can see that price broke out from the previous structure resistance so it was looking like it was going to move down but it moved on the opposite side as well by expanding all the area also on the breakout of the previous structure a previous this previous one it was looking like the price was going to create a higher movement but even that didn't happen so we can see price came lower again at the lower part is very clear that price found a very strong resistance area close to 1.011520 it doesn't matter because this is an area that we are looking at and price can move up again from this point so let's say that uh, if the non-farm payroll are going to come very good or probably they are going to the market is going to speculate with something strange that is going to come from uh, the US front maximum that we can see and what I'm thinking it is that the price can test the base of this structure again it will be very interesting I don't see it happening right now because also the bullish volume is showing to be very strong close to 1.01 I'm expecting the price to move higher from this point however also this possibility is open it is better for us to wait and trade after non-farm payroll if price is going to come lower we are going to look at for buy opportunities close to this area here so this is located close to 1 to 1 1.0 as we can see on the opposite side price can test the upper part of the structure again and if we are going to see any breakout from the top it, it will be very interesting because after that euro usd should increase more so at least we need the first momentum for the moment all of these movements up and down up and down this is showing that the market is creating bullish accumulation it's very beautiful how this is creating but we need to see a bounce above and after that we can say that we are at the beginning of the new trend for the moment everything is possible so we need to to be careful every time we trade because euro is very weak and on the other hand uh, the us dollar is not giving up at all if i'm going to go back right now on the daily chart look at how interesting is looking all of this so these are both two scenarios how we can trade and what we can expect from euro usd both are very interesting scenarios but for the moment price is just blocked within a large correction area that is located within 
1.0120, so it is approximately 160 pips within that area. So hope you guys uh, enjoyed this analysis. Just be careful when trading uh, no farm payroll because it is going to be a very volatile day. And uh, just let's see how the market will react before we jump in this trade. If you like this analysis, don't forget to subscribe and press the like button for more future contents. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye bye.